In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the result of decision tree into a report. We will use example 2, the practice question in the last video. First of all, let's review the procedures of how to construct a decision tree on Radiant. You may want to follow the same steps that we covered in the last video to start Radiant. Again, we need to refresh the session, so it will get rid of the settings from last time, and we will look at the same page. Now we are on the decision tree page. You may want to delete the old tree. The first step of constructing a tree is to rename the tree file. A tree always starts with a tree name. Here it is sign contract. Next line, you can either specify a node type or define variables. If you are not familiar with it, please take some time to review the second rule for the decision tree input in the help file. Here I'm going to define the legal phase as a variable. The value is $5,000. Since we have two options, it is a decision node. The node names are sign with movie company and sign with TV network. Please note you need a colon for each line. After signing the contract with movie company, you need pay legal fees. Here I use the variable. There are three possible scenarios, so it is a chance node. Small box office, medium box office, and a large box office. Please remind yourself you need to indent to indicate the next level after each node name. The probability of having a uh, small box office 0.3 and the payoff is $200,000. You can follow the similar procedure for the medium box office and the large box office. If you are going to sign the contract with TV network, the payoff is 900000 Next step is to calculate the tree. Go to plot. This is our initial tree. In the final tree, the thicker line indicates the optimal strategy, which is assign the contract with movie company. The EMV associated with the optimal strategy is $955,000. We have solved the example too. Let's work on the report. When you click the report icon, you will write this tree into your report. Click Knit Report, your tree appears here. You can also change the title. My new title is Report for Decision Tree Video 3. You can add a subtitle for your first tree. For example, Tree 1, Initial Tree. Only showing plots in the report is not good enough. You may want to add more analysis here. Next again. Now my first tree looks good. Well, this is only one tree. How about adding multiple trees into my report? For example, having a tree with legal fees equal to $10,000. Let's go back. I need to change the file name first. Let's see what will happen if I didn't change the file name. I'm going to write this tree into my report with a new subtitle, tree 2. Legal fees are $10,000. This is a file name for my first tree, and this is for my second tree. See, they are the same. One needs a report. You can see the first tree has been overwritten by my second tree. Let's go back to fix it. For the first tree, I changed the legal fees back to $5,000 and renamed the second tree as video3 underscore tree2. The legal fees are $10,000. I'm going to write the correct tree into my report and delete the previous tree. See, they have different file names now. After knitting the report, you can see my first tree is still the initial tree and the second one is a tree with legal fees $10,000. Let's write one more tree together to make sure we are on the same page. 
I'm wondering what the optimal strategy will be if the payoff of medium box office is eight hundred thousand dollars. Let's go back and rename the trade file. I still want to keep the legal fees at five thousand dollars, and I change the payoff of medium box office into eight hundred thousand dollars. I'm writing the new trades into my report. After adding a new subtitle and more analysis here, I click the net report, and all three trades are showing here. Just a quick reminder: this chunk of our code is to generate your result. You don't have to change anything here. If you change something unexpectedly, for example, having the curly bracket into a new line, your code will break. You will not have the tree. Let's go back to the tree. I'm going to show you some useful keyboard shortcuts. At the end of the help file, you will find the list. These shortcuts will be very helpful if you are working on a big tree. By clicking the carrot, you can fold and unfold a small part of your tree, and you can also use Control Slash on Windows and Command Slash on Mac to comment and uncomment a part of your tree. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to save the state file and report. If you're in the middle of your homework, you may want to save your state file. Because state file contains everything you have done for this session. After clicking Save State Radiant State File, you can rename it whatever you want. Please be careful whether you want to overwrite your current state file. Next time, if you want to continue working on the three trees, you can simply go back and upload the state file. And you will start from where we are today. If you finish your homework and want to export your report, you can first select the output format you want, and、um, click the Save Report. Your report will be saved in the folder of Decision Tree. That would be all for today. Thank you for watching.